Right. Dead as last year's bird nest. Amen. And, and thank her on the way to heaven. And church, I tell you, we got to be saved before we go to heaven. Right. I said we got to be saved. Praise God. It's not by works. Amen. The Bible said we're, we're saved by grace through faith. The God of God will accept us. It's praise God by faith. Glory to God. And uh, I believe mean, God awakes at the, no longer awakes at, at the ignorance. Amen. Oh, God made it too plain by the Spirit of God what we need to do. And, he's, and uh, I tell you, he, he sent, amen, preachers, he sent teachers, and he sent witnesses, amen, to tell the people about Jesus. Amen. And what they have to do to be saved. Amen. amen. Praise God. Now, church, religion is having or showing a deep religious feeling or commitment. Amen. There's a lot of people that has commitment. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And what the, and they have a, they, the Bible said we're saved by faith, amen, and we walk by faith, not by sight. Right. I mean, we don't walk by feelings, we don't by work, we don't walk by works, but that's religion, amen. So I thank God, God showed us in the scripture tonight what we got to do and why so many people in so many churches today are failing to do what God wants them to do. Now, I tell you, I, I blame the preachers, and I blame the pastors, and I blame the teachers, and I blame the people. Amen. Amen. We, ought to, we know enough about Jesus right. Christ, Brother James, Amen. that we ought to go and tell them about Jesus. Amen. How that Jesus saved you, how he delivered you. It wasn't by works, it wasn't by what you did, it was just by faith in Amen. Jesus Christ and how he turned your life around. Amen. Amen. So as we look in here tonight, Amen. We can't go on spiritual leaders, and we can't go on churches, and we can't uh, go on the principles of the things, but we got to go on what word, what God says in His Word. And I thank God for His Word tonight, church, because His Word is truth. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. So as we look in Acts chapter 10, verse 1, it said, There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of a man called the, the Italian man. He was a devoted or devoted man. See, we have a lot of people today in the churches that they are devoted people. They're, they're, they're just, I mean, they're, they're devoted to the church. They're devoted to the Sunday school. They're devoted to their domination. They're just, they're just devoted, amen? And I think we need Christians like it. It's hard to find a Christian that's devoted and devout, amen? So he was a devout, praise God. And the Bible says, and one that feared God. He had extreme rep reference. I've seen people, I was up at the date one time, right in the, 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 really the bad section, and at that time I had a, I think a, a what's that black shield lady I had? Paula had spoke ribs on it and everything. Well, they was looking at that car, Brother Larry, and they said, man, look at that car, and they saw both of us said clergymen. And they said, we're not going to fool with that. He's a pastor. <laughs> Amen. He's a man of God. I mean, even them, they had reference right. of fear right. of God. Amen. But church, they don't have that anymore. They're coming right in your church and still off of everything. Yeah, right. But we got people in churches today that has extreme reference for God. They will do nothing out of the way, but they're not saved. Church, I'm here to tell you, we have people in hell tonight because of a devout, devoted man and devout and, and, and feared God, but they wasn't saved. It takes us to be saved, not walk around religious or being a good moral man. There's a lot of good moral people out there, but they're not saved. And churches are full of it tonight, and we need to pray that's God to give them a life or give some preachers some backbones to preach that they Amen. need Jesus. Right. I said they need Jesus. Amen. Jesus is the only way. Glory to God. He prayed that he feared God, had extreme reverence of God with all his house, which gave alms to the people. I mean, he did people, you ever seen not see people, they're so gracious about giving and everything for the for a good cause. We have the good Samaritan and all those people. They but, but they believe that because of the works and because of their giving that God overlooks them and they're going to go to heaven. 
Those people give thousands and thousands right. of dollars to the church and to, and to a good cause. And, and, and they think that they're so religious, amen, that they, that they think that God overlooked things. God will not overlook a sinner or a right. prayer. Amen. And church, let me tell you something. I think tonight we can, we can preach Jesus Christ that he's the only way. And church, I don't care how devout you are, how much reference you got from God, how devotion you are, how much you give God. We ask the, the I know some churches that sinners don't even go to church and they pay their tithes right. and think that God's going to overlook their sins and things. It's not going to happen, church, and that they need to be told that. Right. Praise right. God. Which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. We have people that praise. When I was a sinner, I prayed to God. Yeah. Every night I prayed to God, Brother James. How many know what I'm talking about? Amen. Amen. Go out, come home with that half shot for two thirds in the wind and everything else. Did I do a thing that I shouldn't have done? And before I close my eyes, I say, Lord, I lay me down to sleep. Lord, my soul to keep. Amen. 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 Praying to God. And He didn't do a bit of good because if I died that night, I would die and went to hell because Amen. I wasn't saved. You got a minute from your Amen. heart. I said, You got a minute from your heart that you're not going to do it. Yeah. And that's what salvation is. Amen. Hallelujah. But we got people doing that, right. believing that, and they need to be told different. Pray to God always. He saw a vision. Now, God honored this man because he really was a good moral man, and he was honest and sincere. And at that time, amen, he didn't know anything about Jesus. Amen. I said he didn't know anything about Jesus. Right. But he, he feared God. He was a good moral man, and he thought he was all right. But anyway, he knew there was something. See, God has it. that spirit, the Holy Spirit, will, will make you feel amen, that there's something is missing in your life if you don't have God. You, there's something devoid and void in your heart, in your soul, in your body. That if you don't have Jesus, there's something there that's not right. It's void. And church, I thank God that he, he's the only one that can feel that void. Yeah. Amen. Because that's the way God made us. But Bob says in verse 3, he said he saw of him in his vision and was living about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of God coming to him and saying unto him, Cornelius, Cornelius. And verse 4 says, And when he looked on him, and he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? And he said unto him, Thy prayers and thy alms are come up for a memorial before God. Now, God honored what he was doing right. as a man. I mean, you, they say if a sinner pays tithes, God will honor that man because he pays his tithe. You know our nation, the our nation pays tithes? Right. They do, they pay right. tithes because right. they're letting us have the doctor. Not to pay taxes as a, as a church and everything. And God honors that. And that's why our nation is blessed right now. And, and, and they say they're trying to take the tithes away from the church. Amen. And make us start paying things. That's going to be a bad mistake because God can't bless our nation. Amen. Amen. But it tells us here. And it says verse 5. And now he sent a man to Joppa. And called for one Simon. Whose name is Peter. He lodges with one Simon a tanner, a tanner, whose house is by the seaside. He shall tell thee what thou oughtest to do. See, Cornelius, know there was something missing and something wrong. And that's why God looked at his heart and everything and knew that there was a boy there, but he couldn't understand it. Even though we're good moral people, church and everything, and, that, and had to fear God, reference God, it's not going to save us because there's something in there that don't fill that void. And only Jesus can fill that void in your heart and your body. And thank God we, God gave that to us for, for, a, for caution and to let us know there's something wrong. Yeah. But the Bible says here, Behold, I am, I am he whom you seek. What is, what is the cause for by Let me back up. Now, in chapter Acts 10, verse 21 and 22, it's... Well, I need to go back up a little bit more. Verse 6. He lies with Simon Tanner, whose house is by the seaside. He shall tell thee what thou 
Oh, and it's the deed. That is so important to the scriptures and to Amen. us because the devil God was going to tell him what he ought to do. I, I'm going to tell you what you ought to do tonight. Being a moral man is not going to save you. Amen. Being a good man is not going to save you. Right. Paying your tithes is not going to save you. Right. Being a fearing God and having a reference God is not going to save you. I'll tell you what you ought to do. You ought to get saved by giving Jesus Christ Amen. your life. And right. he'll be the Lord in your life. And you'll be saved. And that Lord will be filled up. Yes. Can I hear an amen? amen. So he was telling, Peter was telling him there that what he ought to do. Now Acts chapter 10 verse 21 and 22. Then Peter went down to the men which were sent unto him from Cornelius. And said, Behold, I am he whom you see. What is, what is the cause wherefore you, you are come? He already knew because he, always, he had a vision. And God already told him what to do. Behold, I am him whom you seek. What is, what is the cause wherefore you are come? Verse 22 says, And they said, Cornelius, a certain, a just man. I mean, he was a good moral man, but he was lost. And one that feared God, had a, a, a deep reverence for God, and a good report among the nations and other Jews. We've got people that's in church. We, they have a good report. The pastor likes them, the people likes them, the church likes them, and boy, they're doing good. You're doing okay. Just keep wondering what you're doing. But they were lost. And church, I'm here to tell you, we need to know that Jesus Christ is the only one that can save us and let us go to heaven. Praise God. And it says that he has a good port among all nations of the Jews was born from God by a holy angel to send for thee unto the house and to hear the words of these. Then we go to Acts chapter 11 verse 14. It says, Who shall tell thee the words, word, word be thou, and all thy house shall be saved. Amen. God told all these things. Amen. He showed what this man was, the good, God-fearing, moral man, good, had a good report and everything, but he needed Jesus Amen. because he, he needed to be saved. See, God goes to extreme to show us that religious is not going to, amen, get you to heaven. And I've seen a lot of good people, good moral people, reference God and everything. And you couldn't convince them that they need Jesus. I don't care how good you are, or how much reference you have for God, how much you give to God. If you don't have Jesus, you will be lost. Right. Sad to say, and the hell is full of people today, and churches are full of people tonight. Because, of, well, I don't know if it comes about not, not anymore anyway. Most of the churches are closed on Sunday nights. That's a disgrace to God. Amen. So we see... It's this Jesus. Yes. It's Jesus. Amen. Religion is not going to get you. The number one religion, uh, religion faith will not save you. Yeah. And that's what Jesus was trying to tell a man that Cornelius, and why he sent Peter there and fill that void that Cornelius had in his life. I mean, he, he, was, he was doing everything he could in all the reverence of God, but he still couldn't feel that void because God and every person have a void yeah. in their lives that they, when they receive Jesus, is full. That's right. Thank God is full. Yeah. You don't need nothing else. Right. He's your bread, he's your water, he's your life, he's everything, and you don't need nothing else. You just need Jesus. Amen. And these other things will come. The Bible says in St. John chapter 1, verse 12, but as, as many as receive him to them, he gave power to become sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which are born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. Thank God we were saved by the will of God. It was God's will for everybody to get saved. Amen. Some people teach us, and she says, that, you know, God lets some people be lost and some people be saved. No, it's, it's God's will that everybody yes. be saved. Amen. Right. God don't want nobody to be lost and go to the devil's hell. Amen. He wants everybody to go to Amen. heaven. Amen. There's room for God for everyone. Yes. Amen. The Bible said we're saved. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. For we're, we are, for by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourself. It's the gift of God, not of works, lest any man shall boast. Thank God, church, we don't have to go and work for salvation. Because there's a lot of people, amen, that's a lot better person than I am. And as rich as you give more alms than, than I can. A lot of these things. 
the church, we've got to go, we've got to come one way, and that's come to Jesus Amen. by just simple faith and say, Jesus, save me. I'm Lord, lost. I've got a void in my life, and you're the only one that can fill him Amen. and make me happy, make me uh, have a conscience. Amen. That I can please you and know that I'm saved, that I'm saved, and I'm saved, yes. and I'm going to hold my way to heaven. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Religion. A man cannot save you, and it cannot change you. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. I tell you, church, if you're not going to be done, it's only God can change you. Right. It takes Jesus inside of you. Right. I said it takes Jesus inside of you because you've got the spirit of the devil in you, and the blessing overrides you. And no matter how much you try to be good, you can't do it. Right. It's because that spirit in you of the devil, and that blessing overrides everything, and, you, and, and no way you can be saved. Because it just it overcomes you. Yes. But thank God when, when we come to Jesus, he, he comes through and he gives us a spirit and gives us a new heart that we can be children of God and we can walk and make it in the glory of God is because the spirit of God is in us. And they said, that therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Amen. All things have passed away. Behold, all things. It becomes new because the devil has no longer You're control right. over us yeah. or dominion. Because church, we don't walk by, by the religion and everything, by the standards and everything. We walk by faith in Jesus Christ as our salvation. Yes. Now, give the Lord a hand clap tonight. Glory to God. I felt this tonight. God just laid in my heart. Somebody needs this out here. Amen. And that right there, praise God to Amen. let them know. They're, they're, they're going to church and they're lost because they're, they're good moral people. I know a lot of good moral people. Right. But they don't have Jesus. They're not going to make it because they're lost. Amen. And they do anything in the world for churches and everything else. Makes them feel good. Now, anytime you do something for God, it makes you feel good. But that don't mean you're just going to be saved. That's right. Yeah. Religion will not change you. It takes Jesus to live in you. The Bible says in Acts chapter 4, verse 10 through 12, <coughs> Be it known unto you and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you have crucified, whom God hath raised from the dead, even by him doth man stand here before you whole, that this stone which is set at naught of you, of you builders, which has become the head of the corner, neither is there any salvation in the other, for there is another name under heaven given among man where we must be saved. Thank God, church. God gave us Jesus. And all we have to do is call out to Jesus. Amen. And he'll save us if we're sincere. Praise God. Thank God, church, we don't rely. We're walking by sight. We walk by faith. And walk by faith in Jesus Christ. Yeah. But so many people, so, I mean, it's just sad. Cornelius was a very, very devout religious man. But God wanted you people to know that even though he was devout and, and had morals about him and everything, he was still lost. And, church, and like I said, there's, there's people in hell tonight because of that. There's people in churches right now think they're all right. They're not all right because they're good moral people. And we need to tell them, you're not saved until you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior because he died on Calvary. Amen. Amen. He shed his blood that we could be saved. Amen. Praise God. Amen. No other man can say you are washed. You are justified. You are sanctified. And the Spirit of God will change you and lives in you. Except Jesus Christ. Amen. Aren't you glad tonight Amen. that you know the difference between Christianity and religion? Yeah. But a lot of churches today, a lot of people today, don't know the difference. Yes. And we need to preach it. Right. Amen. We need to teach that. We need to tell people that. Amen. Say, you know what? I, I've told many people, you know what? You're a good person. <coughs> and I believe you that you're a good moral person. Yeah. But if you don't have Jesus, you're lost. Yeah. Because I'll tell you, I'm a good person. I'm a good moral person. I don't do nothing wrong with everything. And I try my best to reference God. That don't, that don't, that don't cut ice. Mm -hmm. Amen? Right. You need to know that that don't work. Right. You've got to be saved. You've got to have Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Amen. He's the only one that can free us from bondage. Right. Religious can't free you from bondage. It can't free you from the devil. Amen. Because that's, that's part of the devil. Works are a part of the devil. And then we're, we're lying on works. Amen. That's what the old law did. That's what the Jews did and everything. They, they, God let them get by with it for years and thousands of years until he, he, he's going to send his son back. Then we don't, we don't go by work. We go by faith. When Abraham come, come up 
and he, and he received everything from God by faith, then we have to walk by faith, yeah. just like Abraham did. Yeah. All right, that's enough for that, amen. Religions will not, I've said it many times, and I still got to preach it, they need to hear it, simple old message, over and over and over again. Paul preached the same message over and over and over again. Jesus Christ and him crucified. Right. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes people are hard to hard headed. They have to be told over and over and over. That's why I don't have hair on my head because they, they, they kept telling me over and over and over. I need in Jesus. I need to be saved. I need to do this. I need to do that. Praise God. Find out. I got to hear. Praise God. Religion we won't get you to heaven. That's the sad part about everything I've said tonight. It won't get you to heaven. You've got to have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. The Bible says in St. John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus said, and I didn't say it, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man can come unto the Father except by me. That's right. That's that's Christianity. That's receiving Christ as your Lord and Savior. That's Jesus coming in and filling that void. That void that's in your body, your spirit, your soul. And thank God Jesus felt that, he filled that void in, in me, praise God. Amen. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 through 5, the closing that, Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope. We got a lively hope tonight. Jesus is our hope tonight. <laughs> What he's saying is, not only do we have Jesus in this life, like the brother testified a while ago, but we got Jesus in the next life. Thank God we got Jesus. We got him going and we got him coming. I said we got him going and we got him coming. We got Jesus in this life and we got Jesus in the next life. How can we lose, church? Praise God. A lot of you hope. By the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Like I preached this morning, because he, he, he died, we can live. Amen. Because we're dead Amen. in Christ. Amen. Yes. Praise God. We got to receive Jesus Christ as our Lord. He saved us. We were, we were, we were buried. We was resurrected. And, and I tell you, actually, we should sit in heaven because we're sitting in heavenly places. Amen. He said, We're sitting in heavenly places. That let me know something, church. We got, we're, we're in heavenly places. Amen. We don't have to worry about this old world. We're sitting up there where the good things are. Yes. We, we, don't, we haven't arrived yet, but we're up there Amen. in spirit and soul. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Verse 4 says, To him, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that faith is not away, reserved in heaven for you, yes. for me, for you, Amen. who are kept by the power of God, through faith unto salvation. Yeah. If you got Jesus in your, in your heart tonight, you're saved, you are kept. The Bible says he keeps us. Amen. Yeah. I think God is able to keep us yeah. through Jesus Christ tonight. Yeah. I don't care what the devil tries to do, what he's persuaded to do and everything, we are kept by the power of God. Amen. Hope we stay in Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. As long as I'm holding to his hand, yeah. I'm going to keep walking with him and glory yeah. to God. Yeah. Who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be real in the in the last <coughs> time. Glory to God. Amen. What a day that's going to be yeah, what a day. when I see my Jesus. Amen. Amen. Because so, church, we're not we're not walking by faith. We're not walking by sight. Or we're not walking by works. We're walking by faith. Yeah, amen. Faith is going to get us there. Amen. Would you stand tonight?